So today, slightly different video. I'm up in Montrose, Angus, uh, to learn about a VVLOS flight, a Beyond Visual Line of Sight flight. This will be a slightly different thing called Drone News, where I'll find out about different companies and what they're doing. So we're going to interview DTLX and find out what they've been up to. Hence this weird sort of news walk that they do where they slowly go towards the camera. It was meant to be a demonstration, but conditions aren't great. So let's get in and see what they're all about. Um, so our demonstration, our Beyond Visual Line of Sight demonstration, it took 18 months of planning uh, through the regulator and, and with, the, with the flight operator to put in place a seg an area of segregated airspace to allow us to fly uh, medical drone deliveries from Montrose to Stracathro and down into Nine Wells Hospital in Dundee. The, the, the project uh, went on for eight weeks uh, and during that time we have carried approximately 20 to 30 samples um, every day we could fly. The, the drone we use is a, a Swoop Aero uh, operated by a company called Skyports, who are one of the UK's leading drone delivery companies. The drone carries uh, about four to five kilos and will fly in winds of up to 27 miles an hour. Uh, we've flown most of the days that, that, that we've had within that eight, eight week window. When we haven't been able to fly, some of the times it's been uh, because, of, because of the wind, but generally it's a regulatory constraint where the, where the low cloud base means that the, the, the regulator won't allow us uh, to, to, fly the, to fly the drones. The Beyond Visual Line of Sight project that we've done is set to a fixed window set by the regulator. But ultimately we aim to, to create a hub and spoke model where we would expand the deliveries from a single point to include all the general GP practices and hospitals in the area. Uh, creating a regular daily uh, delivery service for the, for the NHS. Our project, the, the Beyond Visual Line of Sight project, is the first phase of our Mercury Drone Ports programme. Mercury Drone Ports programme is an economic development project done between ourselves, DTLX and Angus Council, where we hope to create an, a regional scale area of airspace that allows manned and unmanned aviation to operate together. And by doing that, we'll create a trials area where, the, where new drone technology can be trialled and early commercial operations commence. Our Mercury Drone Ports project has three, three elements. The first is the, is the airspace. The second is the stakeholder engagement, which is very, very important in terms of making sure that the community uh, support us to, to do this, which helps with regulatory, um, regulatory constraints. But, but also, and, and more importantly, ensures that there is the commercial business case uh, to, to enable this, this network to, to expand. And finally, um, having attracted uh, companies to come and trial their equipment and, and develop uh, an early commercial operations, our intention is to build a centre of excellence for the development of drone technology, which will be a physical building, allowing the eight universities within 40 miles of where we are to to develop their, their capabilities and knowledge within the drone industry, working closely with industry and the government to do so. So, so Angus as a whole has, has, is, is a county broken up into, into three sections. There's a coastal region where the majority of, of the population live, a central region which is predominantly farmland with small villages and hamlets, and then into the Cairngorm Mountains where there's very, very few, few people that live. But, but ultimately, you know, we, these, these offer opportunities for drone technology because where there's rural communities, uh, the cost of, of servicing those, those local communities, both from the council's perspective and commercial uh, organisations, is high. And therefore, those, the, the, this offers a great opportunity for us to, to, to use drones to help these communities supported by the council um, or, or these other companies that, that, that we speak to.